Hello and welcome back to the Ken multi-purpose creative WordPress theme. In this video tutorial number five, I'm going to show you how to update the Ken theme from a previous version to the new version. So let's get started. First thing we want to do here is, uh, knowing that we have an update, is go to ThemeForce and read the change log. It's always good to see what was changed. Mainly check to see if any plugins are new because you will have to update those also. Down at the very bottom here you'll see the change logs. The newest version we're up to right now is 1.3. And we're going from 1.2 to 1.3. And if you read through here you'll see there's no updates to any plugins. It's specifically just theme items. So let's take a look at the files. I've already actually downloaded them. They're right here. You see I downloaded this is all of the theme files and then I've just got the installable version. I'm going to go ahead and extract the full version files here because we're going to be uploading it to the FTP this way. So I'm just going to go into these folders and extract specifically just the Ken theme here. And now that's ready for later. All right, so let's go to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to go to Appearance Themes and you're going to see that we've got the can, that's the active theme, and we're using a 1.2 right now. All you have to do is hit Add New, and that's going to turn into Upload Theme. We're going to hit Upload Theme, and we've got to choose our file. We're going to be updating to the 1.3, so I'm picking 1.3 installable, and due to our Easy Themes and Plugin update plugin, we will uh, make sure you check yes to upgrade existing theme and simply hit install now. And it's going to upload the theme and once it's done uploading it'll take a second to install it and you'll see it's successful and there's a backup that it makes. I'll show you that in a second so let's go ahead and activate our new version And now you'll see we've got the Ken 1.3. And in our media library, there'll be a backup zip file of 1.2, which you can delete once you're sure you're happy with everything. So it's that easy to do an update to the theme. I'll hit refresh and you'll see that everything's working fine. Same settings that I had in my demo setup. Now let's go ahead and move to doing it via the FTP. It takes a little longer, it's a more intricate, but if you like control, this is the way to do it. So let's go to our FileZilla here and log into the server and find the folder. I'm doing this one on my personal demo. All of the themes are going to be located in your WP Content Themes folder. So you can see we've got the can. When you're doing updates via FTP it's always wise to rename the folder because if you just overwrite it sometimes you'll have extra files there that aren't needed that got deleted possibly during a theme update. So I'm going to rename this to Ken Old. And there we go it's Ken Old. So now we're going to go ahead and bring over the new version 1.3 here. I'm going to go find the stuff I extracted and here's our CAN 1.3. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this over to the FTP site and it'll take a while to upload, a lot longer to do it via FTP than it does to do it in the WordPress dashboard. So we're going to just let this upload and I'll pause it and come back whenever it's done. And also take note during this whole time your site will be down Alright, so now it's done uploading all the files to FTP, and you can see we've got the folder Ken Old and Ken. And technically, both of these are 1.3 right now, because I already updated it to 1.3 via the dashboard, but it doesn't really matter either way. I showed you how to upload the files via FTP. Let's go back here to our WordPress here and hit refresh, and it'll keep the theme active that was already active so this right here 
you'll see is the, the active one, and technically it's going to say 1.3. And this one is going to also say 1.3, and that one would be our old, and I can tell by just doing a little trick here and inspecting my element here, and you can see this picture is in the Ken old directory. So we can actually delete this at any time later after we're sure that everything went good. So I'm going to go here and we'll hit refresh and make sure that everything's still working. And it appears to be working. So that is how you upload via FTP. So we've covered both options, WordPress dashboard and uploading via FTP. So that about wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a wonderful day.